let's click on parameters here and start off with VTOL attitude control. A lot of parameters here. We'll go through some of them. VT trans throttle, the transition throttle. That is the throttle value we want the pusher motor to run at while the aircraft is accelerating from hover to fixed wing. 75%, sort of between 65 and 75 is a good value. If it's lower than that, it may accelerate too slowly. If it's higher than that, the motor might start complaining. If you want to change it, click save. If not, just click cancel. VTOL transition throttle is the a value below which the VTOL motors will switch off. So the lower this is set, the longer the VTOL motors will keep going. 0.2 is usually a good, is a good value here, good compromise. Fixed swing minimum altitude is the minimum altitude at which a transition from hover to fixed wing flight can happen. We typically set it to 25 meters at least, but it can be lower, it can be as low as zero. This is a thrust scale here. The higher this value, the more aggressive the pusher motor will react when you push the right stick forward. Two is the highest value we recommend to set it to two. And this value here is about how much down pitch the aircraft is allowed to have before the pusher motor can engage to fly forward. We set it at a value of 0.5 degree only, meaning the aircraft will stay almost flat when it accelerates forward. It doesn't try to pitch forward like a traditional quadcopter would do. So here is an example with a large uh, value for this. The aircraft pitches forward and this is a, a low value, 0.5, and the aircraft stays completely flat as it accelerates forward. It just illustrates what that looks like. Multicopter position control, so GPS assisted position control flight mode. There is a, are a number of parameters here that are of interest. 20 meter per second maximum horizontal velocity. We recommend to set it to the maximum value, <laughs> unless you want to limit yourself for some reason. And here's a few parameters. Integral gain for the horizontal velocity error, the dif differential gain for the horizontal velocity error. So these are b basically PID values for the PID loop, the error correction loop. And we found these parameters, the way they're set here, uh, to be uh, to work well. Takeoff climb rate we set to two meters per second. Then m manual pitch and roll to 35 degrees. The landing descent rate we set, we set to one meters per second. Let's look at multicopter attitude control. That's relevant for the manual and altitude control flight modes. We set the maximum yaw rate to 90 degrees, so 90 degrees per second. So in one second, the aircraft will yaw by up to 90 degrees. Yaw rate I gain 0 0.02, roll P gain 6.5, roll rate P gain 0 0.08, roll rate D gain 0 0.002, roll rate I gain is 0 0.05. Pitch rate P gain 0 0.120 and pitch rate I gain 0 0.002. Pitch rate D gain is 0 0.003. Again, these are PID values that uh, determine how aggressive the aircraft corrects uh, position errors and velocity errors. <laughs> Tuning the aircraft. So there, it's basically a more convenient way to set the parameters all at once. Uh, the cruise throttle, we set that to 50 to value of 50. You can also find these in a parameter, fixed wing throttle cruise, there it is, 50%. You should be able to fly the aircraft for less than that, as low as 40 potentially. Uh, the velocity will obviously change, the current draw will change. We recommend not to fly the aircraft with more than, let's say, 15 amp continuously. You can go up to 20 for very brief periods of time, I'm talking seconds here. 
um, continuously, 15 at the most, ideally below 10, but that gets you up to 60 miles an hour already. Here are a few settings for uh, safety, low battery fail-safe trigger, so what can you do? You can have a warning, you can have the aircraft come return to land or land at the current position, let's say if you're on ice or on, in a desert where you can land in most places, then this is a suitable setting. Here it's just set to warning at a certain battery level. So the failsafe is a warning basically. What happens when the uh, radio control signal is lost? You can come return to land, that's at the most typical setting. Return to loiter. And you can also set the, the time, the loss, how, how long a loss should be before that fails of action is triggered. <laughs> Here it's set to half a second. What happens when the data link, the data radio link uh, breaks? Uh, here we have set it to just disabled, nothing happens. You can still fly the aircraft, but there are different options here. There's some uh, geofencing you can do. And the return to home setting is interesting. It's set, the aircraft is set to climb to an altitude of 60 meters to go over trees and buildings. So this depends on the terrain that you're at. Uh, you can set this much higher. It's safer to set it higher. Taking into account local uh, laws and regulations on how, how high you can fly. And upon return here, we are setting it to land immediately, but you can also loiter and not land to then continue your mission uh, whenever you get the radio signal back or something. And you can also set the land mode settings, so set, uh, land at one meter per second and uh, disarm after landing to check that is actually not a bad idea. Then the aircraft will just fold in the arms and uh, you can pick it up from the ground. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. <laughs>